Our experimental apparatus consists of an optical rail, an optical pumping control panel, a frequency generator, a digital voltmeter, and an oscilloscope. A bulk of the physics takes place on the optical rail. On the left is a rubidium lamp. Light passes through a 780 nanometer interference filter, then a linear polarizer and a quarter wave plate. The light passes through the rubidium chamber, circularly polarized. At the end of the rail, a lens focuses light onto a photodiode. The temperature controlled rubidium chamber is held in a magnetic field by Helmholtz coils in two directions. An RF coil provides an oscillating magnetic field. We start with a rubidium atom with its valence electron in the ground state. This atom is free to absorb a photon of a specific energy and to become excited. Here we have our rubidium atoms all in a single hyperfine state. In the presence of an external magnetic field, the state splits into Zeeman energy levels, each with its own quantum number, mf. There's a quantum mechanical selection rule that says whenever a right, circularly polarized photon is absorbed by an atom, that the value of the angular momentum needs to be increased by 1, as well as the value of m sub f. This means that our electron is going to be promoted from mf equals 1 to mf equals 2. What makes optical pumping interesting is that the electron does not have to obey this behavior when it de-excites. Upon de-excitation, the MF value can change by 1, 0, or minus 1. This means that an electron in any one excited Zeeman state can de-excite to a range of ground states. So here we go. We've got a rubidium lamp filled with electrically excited rubidium atoms. 